this is H.G. Bailey. I'm JP. And welcome back to Let's Play Seiken Tetsu 3! Let's go after the Water God Beast. We've made it, or er, not Undine's day, uh, Salamando's day for this occasion. And the dungeon is right over here. Did I make it right in front of the entrance? Yes. Okay. Made it back to Maya there off screen, so let's take a look around. And this time, well, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a hole in the wall. Just trust me. Yeah. Not like the Japanese hole in the wall, just an ordinary hole in the wall. Or, wait a minute, that's the American name of the show, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, never mind. You know what I mean, viewers. Now, with this Mama Poto, like I was saying earlier, they can spawn Papa Potos once they get down below, I think, to 25% of their max HP. And if you kill the Papa Potos, let's see, will they get a treasure? Yes, okay, grab it. Have Hawk grab the treasure. And if you do not die, you get. Oh, alright, we got the question mark seeds. What that does. Ow! It kills you. Uh, you plant that at an inn, and I'll show you how to do that later. But you use that, and you need that in order to do the class changing. So they don't tell you that in the game, though. So, yeah, I know, it's not very newbie friendly, but... Well, that's how you're supposed to do it. I guess the way you're supposed to figure it out is they kind of tell you with that bookshelf from earlier. But then... Uh, when you plant the seeds at the inn, when you get the item from it, it says, like, a name of a job class on it. So, that, I guess that's how you're supposed to figure it out. Alright, there we go. And we gained another level. Alright. Yeah, how did Angela start getting ahead of Hawk? Huh. I think we want to go up this way. Nuts. I think we went the wrong way. <laughs> Oops. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, no. I'm only targeting the one. That's... Well, that's not going to work out too well. The seahorse-looking guys, they're... Yeah, I only targeted the one. Hold on. The seahorse-looking guys are the ones who are weak to fire. The mama potos are actually weak to shade. There we go. Go for strength. You're locked out of everything else I care about anyway. Alright. Um, yeah, let's go for more vitality. I like tanking. Well, there's only one enemy left now. Probably should have used Exploder at that rate, but oh well. Well, having Salamando's Day on our side really helps out a lot. This is also a pretty good place to do some level grinding. If you took... You could have taken, like, any of the left pads that I have not yet, and they'd all loop around to each other and such. That would have been... Uh, yeah, and you could also fight the Mama Potos and the Papa Potos and get those question mark seeds. So this is a really good place to do some level grinding. I'm not going to do it, but you can if you want. Yeah, there's just a lot of dead ends that there are to this place that, well, I'm just not going to explore this time around. We want to get to the boss. Maybe try and get all the enemies on the screen if we can. Probably a, oh, I was going to say a mama photo, but no. Okay, look, yeah, these guys have those fishies. Okay, never mind. They have a power down effect, so I want to use power up to counter that. Denied! Is that good enough for you? No. No? I did what I could. I only do a good Palpatine impression. That's the only one. All my other ones are just failed attempts. Yep. <laughs> I like how you don't even hesitate to agree with me. But anyway, yeah, we want to open that one up. Nuts. I'm, uh, yeah. Make a run for it. Run! Why was that guy level 30? Hmm, that's not it. 
Kaiser Mimic. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Oh, well, we are level 32 already. No, they should be level 32, though. Mm. They don't scale with us. Every time... I suppose I forgot to mention this last time. But every time you defeat a god beast... Uh, the enemies increase in level by two, regardless of whichever one you went to first. Yeah. Let's heal our Pock there. But yeah, we're almost at the Golden Goddess statue. I'd like to try and be able to make it there without having used too many healing items if I can. Oh, yeah, now I use my Vacuum Spear. Okay, there's more enemies to the right, but it's just a dead end. Let's put that Exploder to use, or Explode. It was called Exploder in Secret Armada, right? Yep. Okay, just making sure. I thought it was, I just didn't, didn't quite have my finger on it. Alright, we got a Papapoto. Yeah, you want to be careful with killing the Mamapotos, because if you only have one human-controlled character, then sometimes your allies will go all out and finish them off before they have a chance to sort of recover and say, oh, I want to summon Papa Poto. So, just something to keep in mind there. So you hit me with that. Thank you. Let's see. There we go. Power up. You have selected Power Drive. There we go, that ought to help us out. One thing with buffs and debuffs is that they are replacement effects. They, they're not... Uh, it's not like, oh, they powered down me, so my power... It's not a cancellation effect, it's a replacement effect. So, like, power down, I think, reduces your attack power by 20%, and then power up will replace it and actually increase it by 20% from whatever your base attack power was. Not again. What happened to my luck staff? Oh well. Well, it's your luck staff, but... Yeah. I guess you're just not as lucky as I am. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, almost all the enemies in here are weak to fire. Except for the Mamapotas, they're weak to shade. No, I mentioned that earlier, but... You know what I mean. What? Didn't I power up? I guess I didn't. Let's do that again. Can't really damage these guys like that. Well, with our attacks, if you get a power down effect on you, and you don't have a power up effect, that... Oh, come on, just die already. Angela, kill them. Piss me off. Yeah. There we go. Good enough. Phew! We made it. Yay. Screw that guy. Screw them. Just run. I don't care about them. Okay, uh... Oh, yeah, we are all healed up. We're set and ready to go! For boss time! Okay, first things first. I want to get mind up on everyone. Before the boss shows up. There he is. So for right now, let's just keep start by uh, attacking him. I'm not... Oh yeah, I'll use uh, Thunder Jutsu on him first. Are you going to attack him, Angela? Yeah, basically, uh, this guy has no immunities that I care about. So I'll use Thunder Jutsu to remove his... To reduce his defense. Get that on myself. And then just go all out with either melee or magic. Eventually I'll use magic once I get to that point. I'm going to try and do something a little different from last time. I'm only going to have Angela attack, or Angela use spells and let Hawk do some melee this time around. Okay, so it requires more than two buttons. 
So once I get all my buffs going, then we'll have Angela join in the fun. Oh, can you use Fire Jutsu on him just once? Just once, just once. I don't want you spamming it. <laughs> Man, Angela really doesn't want me accessing her menu for some reason. Maybe I should switch to Angela. If I can't do that again... Okay, I'm switching to Angela. Screw it. I'll press the two buttons over and over and over again. Yeah, let least... No, you don't need to spam. No. Just use your melee. Force of habit. <laughs> the muscle memory took over. But yeah, fortunately, this, unlike the last God Beast, this guy likes to stay in place. So, trying to get Angela away from him, and we don't have much of a choice. So, okay, now we're going to have to start spamming magic, I think. Because he's, uh... You said he's under us, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, you want to join in? Y you have to. What are you going to do? Just sit on your ass? Maybe I will. <laughs> Actually, I already am, technically. But, yeah, once he gets under the ice, apparently, I don't know how that works. Well, he's not in damn sea like he thought last time. Yeah, I know, I know. But, yeah, so once he's under there, you can't hit him with melee. You, you ba if you don't have any either of these spells, you basically get to sit on your ass until he comes out. So, yeah, not a whole lot you can do about that, I'm afraid. Fortune! Uh, oh, that's just like a speed debuff or something. Yeah, I don't care about that at all. He'll eventually come out from under there. Fortunately, now that we got the bus and debuffs going, this should be a relatively... This is actually probably the easiest of the God Beasts. Eight minutes later... <laughs> well, yeah, that took longer than I thought. Well, I guess when you play this game so many times, you get overconfident. How did she jump in the water? That is my question to you, viewers. How does he jump on a ceiling? Because there's air in the way, not water. You can jump through air. I don't see how you can Yeah, how does he come back to the ground? I don't know. Are you, uh... Oh, that was you. No. no. You're the one with the nifty jitsus. I only look at the color of the icon, pretty much. Oh, well, yeah, it is kind of all the same. That's why I keep on hesitating on the earth and thunder. So I'm thinking yellow is the <laughs> thunder. And it's earth. You never played Chrono Cross. Right? Yeah. You did play it? Oh, no. Oh, okay, I was going to say, I didn't think you played that. I didn't think you ever played any RPGs people ever heard of. JRPGs. Now where is that guy? There he is. Okay, now you can go back to your melee. Thank you. Yeah, melee is just usually, not always, but usually faster than uh, magic, unfortunately. And unfortunately, since I'm controlling Angela directly, I can't get Lise to start attacking. Go, Lise. There you go. Just hit the guy while I explode him. Or he could just explode on his own. Why not? Alright! You see, that was much faster. You got lucky. Now, actually, the reason is not so much because of the melee, but because uh, we could use Fire Jitsu on him and... That really helps a lot, so. Well, all right, took care of three of the God Beasts, so three down, how many more to go? Four, five, something like that. We gotta take care of more of them. I'm gonna do some level grinding at the next dungeon, and then we'll take on the next God Beast. Next time, and let's play Sicken Densetsu 3. I'm H.C. Bailey. And I'm cold. Signing off.
Have a good day.